Ugh, anyways. One more, one more chin, one more chin, one more chin. One more for the road. Building a Vietnamese breakfast sandwich. And haters will say it's gross. One more chin and then I'm gonna leave, one more. It's roughly 10 a.m. in the morning and I'm in the mood for a Vietnamese breakfast sandwich. And it's not really a breakfast sandwich, but I feel like eating a Vietnamese sandwich, sandwich right now in the morning. I'll show you how you make it. Why do you think he likes to share his cooking with us when he can't cook? Do you think he's do you think he knows he can't cook or do you think he thinks he cooks? Why do you think he likes to share that part of his life? We don't care what you can cook because you can't. Like, why does he want to share this with us? So the majority of the ingredients were provided to me by my girlfriend and her mom. <laughs> of course. Of course your girlfriend's mom gave you the ingredients. You couldn't just get them yourself. What the fuck? Anyway, I don't know what. I don't know. Let's just continue. Um, this in particular, this pork, it's like barbecue pork. What did they give you? Just like a, a Tupperware with like random meats. Like, why is it so little? Did he, or did he eat it before? Like, <laughs> okay, whatever. It's Vietnamese style shredded chicken. I'm not sure what's in there, but it's really delicious. And then cha, cha lua, C-H-A, it's a Vietnamese pork loaf. And then I got this baguette from Ralph's. It's just like a regular baguette. Is that it? No more. Just that one bit. But if you can get the Vietnamese style French or the French Vietnamese style baguettes, those are the best. You get them at a Vietnamese store. Also, this is like Vietnamese course, mayo. Man. And it's different than regular mayo because it's like tangy. So the thing I thought would match this, because I'm running low, as you can see. But I'm running low on pork. That's why I have this this amount of pork. It's not There's not enough left. But I wanted to save the rest for another. Save the rest? There's hard, just put that all in one sandwich, you fucking weirdo. There's hardly anything in that bag. There's hardly anything in that bag. There's hardly anything in there. And it's different than regular mayo because it's like tangy. So the thing I thought would match this, because I'm running low, as you can see. But I'm running low on pork, that's why. That's all the pork he's got. Look at the Ziploc up. There's hardly anything in it. Just put it all in one bag. Put it all in one baguette. There's hardly anything in there. Rest for another ban mi. Uh, this More is mayo. Miracle Whip, which I think maybe could match what that tastes like. You said it's not like regular mayo because it's tangy. Then you buy regular mayo and you hope it's going to taste like the Korean mayo. What? Not exactly, but it, it'll help. Maybe sort of match it, kind of. And then there's this duck liver pate. Oh. He's gonna put, put he's he's gonna mix duck liver pate with mayonnaise. Ma that uh, usually there's a Vietnamese pate that I would use, but I ran out of that, so I'm gonna use this. I got this from Ralph's. It was like nine dollars, and then I'll show you how I make it. <laughs> now, if you know me, you know I try to stay away from carbs. I try to cut carbs as much as possible, but I still. You try to cut, why? Why you try to cut carbs? Why? Why? I love them and I still eat them, but I try my best to like minimize as much carbs as I put in, in my body. You're, you're eating a ban mi, you're eating a sandwich and you're trying to avoid carbs. He definitely speaks like Brendan, like what? So this is what I do with bread. Whenever I have a sandwich or a burger, this is what I'll do. I'll cut it down the line. Send he doesn't even have a proper knife. <laughs> he has hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fucking stupid camera equipment, but not a proper bread knife. Or it's not even sharp enough. Sure. Fucking hell. Butchering that baguette knife. already. Open it up. What do you do? And you see what, what all you this do? bread? Yeah, what do you do? I don't need that. I just want the delicious outer part of the bread with a little bit of the inner part of the bread. Then I'll take a fork so or scoop it whatever, all out. and then just gut that thing out. It's, just, it's hardly the size of your hand. You don't really need to gut out that baguette. It's the size of your hand, bro. Just eat it. If you don't want to eat, the, don't have carbs, just don't have it. Gutting bread doesn't reduce the amount of carbs. Like, again, I don't know nothing about nutrition, but I swear gutting bread, the benefits are like negligible. negligible. Surely. You barely, you barely notice. There's probably hardly any difference. Carbs are carbs. If you don't want to eat carbs, just don't eat the bread. But gutting a stale baguette. 
all that little fluffy stuff inside the bread. Take all that stuff out. And why are we, sh why we need to be shown this? I know this is an absolute mess, but look at how much bread I took Is in bread. Here. I don't need all the- Look how much bread is in bread. Stuff right here. Oh, jeez. So I don't, yeah, this is all filler stuff. And so you gonna do? There's enough good stuff on this bread where I can just wrap all these delicious ingredients in and it's gonna taste better and not be so filling and I'll just- You don't want to be, you don't want sandwich. All the good stuff, so that's what I do. <laughs> this is almost like an entire like chunk of a baguette too. All this breading, which we don't need. And this is like- He doesn't even toast it. It doesn't even get toasted to be a little bit warmer so that the pate can spread on it easy. He doesn't even toast the bread. All the gelatine is still all over the top of it. Look how he's digging. Even the way he digs his knife into the pate is weird. He just digs it in. He doesn't even try and scrape it. Why is he so backwards? He's digging his knife. Like, don't you get, uh, maybe that's me, but don't you get annoyed when people do that with the butter? They just dig the knife in there instead of just scraping it like a regular person. He's stabbing the fucking pate. Gelatinous stuff on top. I sometimes put it on, but you don't have to. Just like spread it all around. He can't even like spread that. pate. I'm going to cover this. this <laughs> he can't even spread pate. He can't even spread pate on bread. This nigga is useless. Look at this. Look at his work surface. Look at his work surface. Look at that work surface. Look at it. Covered in breadcrumbs and shit all over i would never eat at this man's house ever 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 i'm sorry meet meet me at the fucking korean barbecue i'll get you a beer but i'm never eating at this people at this house you can never eat at their home this is horrendous bro look at this shit look at this shit he probably scratched his ass played around with his hair loads of fucking dandruff all over the place he can't even spread fucking pate are you insane higher bread so when it's all said and done it should look like this fuck it that looks like a fucking contemporary art piece that looks like a bit of mixed media all my guys and girls in the stream chat who paint that looks like some mixed media piece that looks like he scraped a bit of paint a bit of fucking oil paint on a canvas that looks like a mixed media piece it looks like something you can hang in a gallery uh, you know miami art basel you can put down a gallery and sell it look at that shit look at that shit it's actually plus art for you though look at that shit desecrated that pate the next step is the mayo and i only have a little bit left honestly oh my god i've never heard of somebody mixing pate with mayo i love pate mayo is whatever but i've never thought of an idea of mixing mayo and pate is that normal people please tell me in the chat if i'm bugging out i've never heard of people mixing pate with 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 mayo oh he's a bit boss i didn't i just realized i didn't realize it look he's a bit he's a bit cross-eyed i didn't see that one of his eyes like goes in more than the other one. Do you just notice that? Look at that. Maybe that explains why he cooks like this. Maybe you can't see what he's doing. The Vietnamese mayo, so I'm gonna put the Miracle Whip. So this is the Vietnamese mayo. I'll spread it on one side. Oh, mayonnaise and pate. I only have a little bit left. And then I'm gonna dive deep into this bad boy or bad girl. See that? And I'm gonna slather lather slather this thing all over here on the top or the bottom whatever this is the top so there you go i don't even know how he's, how he's alive i don't know how he's alive the way he eats i don't know how he must have a he must have a i don't know how he's alive you know what, I'm gonna add some more milk whip on the bottom part. I know this might be gross to some of you guys, but I don't care. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. He's like, babe, come over to my house. I'll cook you something nice, babe. Okay, no worries, Mama. What are you gonna make? I'll make us bammies. And look at what he's making. Look at that shit. Look at that spread. Look at it. He doesn't even clean his work surface. Mail on there. Like, oh my God.
God, brother. Look at that shit. And now we put everything together. So I'm going to start with the delicious barbecue pork. <laughs> Is that good? Put it there. Right here, there's no hard and fast rules with this. So I'll do that first and then put some shredded chicken. Of the Vietnamese shredded chicken on top. Right there. And then I'll put the cha. Cha lua right here. And since that's enough cha lua, that's enough protein. So spam, chicken, pork, pate, mayo. This will give me the runs instantly. God almighty, bro. For the sandwich, I'm going to go ahead and just munch on that on the side. Yeah, he, love a, he, loves, he loves a good side thing to munch on. He loves it. And he closes bad boy up. And then from here, I'll tell you. Why don't you just put that in there? There's hardly anything in there. It's so fucking tight. Just put that little bit in there anyway. What's the point? Look at all the debris. Look at all the look at the carcasses all around everything. Look at all the fucking carcasses. Look at them. Look. Look at it. Look at all the debris everywhere. Look at it. The bread isn't even the bread isn't even toasted. It's just stale. He's not even cut it nicely. Like in a straight line. Like, oh. He probably broke it with his hands. He didn't even cut the baguette with a knife. Do next. So you can tell this is all messy and dirty, but that's what happens when you're trying to build a delicious sandwich, a Vietnamese sandwich. I also have my trusty, my favorite Zevia flavor grape. Uh, so what you do now is you put this bad boy or bad girl in the oven. Get the oven now, a sheet of foil. And I don't cover the top. I just kind of like, you know, do something like that. Well, it's not working right now. But, and I put too much foil. But, so anyways, I'll put this foil on the bottom so I can put the sandwich now into the oven. Why don't you just toast the bread before and then put the stuffing in there? It's easier, no? Don't you have a ba don't he has doesn't he own a baking tray? Seven cameras, hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of fucking microphones, but no fucking baking tray. Not even one baking tray. Not even one to put like a pizza on there when you want to. God almighty. I'll put on the bottom part of the oven. Where's the baking tray? Nothing. Shin is making us go vegan with his cooking. Big up, says. <laughs> exactly. I can't believe this is the way Bamis are made. I can't believe it. And I Big up, MK. I can't believe it, brother. I can't believe it. Roll things around like that. I feel like that sort of helps with reflecting the heat but i could be wrong yeah you're probably wrong so then i'll turn the oven light on and i will also broil this on low broil and i i've never really done like an actual count like a you know a minute mark of how many minutes you have to do so i just sort of walk by and watch it and see if it starts crisping up on top and once i see it's crispy enough then i just pull it up Okay, since I love you guys, I went ahead and made a made sure to time this. And right now, this is at eight and a half minutes, and I think it's good to go. No one's gonna follow your recipe or directions. We're just watching you to laugh at you. No one's ever gonna try and make this themselves at home because this looks like diarrhea food. This looks horrendous. This is a disgrace to banh mi's and all banh mi culture. This is horrible. It's not really hot. So I'll just grab it by the of course, fork. Of course, no bacon. Just grab it like that, yeah, of course. <clears throat> like you're here. never going to trap us. Of course, of course, of course. Now listen to that crisp. That is crispy. It's, it's, you, you toasted it. That's what happens when you put bread in an oven. You fucking spurg, of course. Listen to it crispy. What? Let's take a piece off. That's super crispy and crunchy. This oh, really? Is how crispy and crunchy is. Crispy and crunchy. Say it one more time. This guy is on the spectrum for real. He's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with him. He's not He's not all there. There's something wrong with him. I don't care. There's something wrong with this man. He's nearly, what, 50 years old? There's something definitely wrong with this guy, isn't it? That's how crispy it is. What? Mm-hmm. I don't know about you guys, but when I eat a sandwich, I always have to have something else to snack Oh, up. yeah, really? Yeah, true. I don't, I don't like carbs. I take out all the carbs. I got my fucking bread. But then I always have crisp on the side. That makes sense, isn't it? Definitely a Brendan Short fan. So I 
yeah, let's gut. Let's. I don't like eating carbs. I'm gonna gut it, but I'm gonna. I got like a, a side of fucking chips. Of tortilla chips here, and I also have what uh, guacamole from Ralph's that I bought. And a beer. It's supposed to be fresh, that? freshly that? made in the morning. So, I don't know if that's the reality, but I, I think it's good enough. It, it'll, it'll hit the spot. So I'll have tortilla chips, guacamole, and then this delicious sandwich. The last, and I would say, the most crucial part about this, at least. Why is he talking for so long? The sandwich has already gone cold now. Are you meant to eat it when it's kind of warm? He's toted the, the, the fucking ban me. He's been talking for fucking ever. And now it's probably gone cold. For me, is I feel like it's always... Oh, fucking hell, bro. That looks rancid. That looks absolutely rancid. Fucking hell, bro. That looks disgusting. Seeing a little something. So what you need to do, if you're me, is put some soy sauce on it. And of course... Of I course. Of fucking course. The pate is not enough. The Miracle Whip's not enough. The Vietnamese mayo is not enough. The pate is not enough. The spam is not enough. Now you're going to put soy sauce on it. Why is this making me so angry? Why is this making me so angry? Why? Fucking hell, what the fuck is this? Soy sauce. That's the special ingredient at the end to give it a kick that it needs. Soy sauce. This nigga is a disgrace to all Asian people. This nigga is a disgrace to all Asian people. I swear to God, he is. I've never seen an Asian person in my life that's so useless in the kitchen like this. Every Asian person that I know is an incredibly sophisticated foodie or they can make a mean fucking munch. Every Asian person I know, boy or girl, this is, this is an arrestable offense. Always choose low sodium uh, soy sauce because- Low sodium my soy sauce. Of course, no carbs in the bread, whole plate of chips now you want low sodium soy sauce this gets so incredibly puffy whenever i have something super salty like you know ramen don't eat it then you fucking div soupy dishes it just gets crazy and plus i don't think i need that much sodium in my soy sauce soy sauce is delicious and, and already salty so you get all the sodium from the pork and the fucking pate yeah no worries there's no sodium in fucking marinades either no problem on its own so low sodium soy sauce and kiko mine is like you know a huge brand so you open this bad boy up. Fuck off. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Put the soy sauce ready. And then just pour. Not liberally, but try to get like Now you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fucking explain to us how to pour soy sauce on the sandwich. Is that what you're gonna do? Are you really gonna explain to us how to pour so how to use soy sauce? <sighs> Big up for your door. Chin needs to be arrested immediately. <sighs> Big up for your door. I don't. I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. I just don't get this. I don't get this. Spots. I do the top usually, so I'll do. By filming, this is tougher. So like that. <laughs> Don't, he's literally pouring it into his sandwich. <laughs> Not even a drizzle. He's pouring it all over. Oh, my God. This must taste a rant. Imagine he's making food for... Thank God he doesn't have kids. Fucking hell, bro. Okay, that's kind of liberal. <laughs> Screw it. That's what I do. I'm like that. Soak it in soy sauce. Not too much, though. Do it to your taste. No one's going to follow your fucking recipe, my friend. It up. Now he's got soy sauce all over the fucking chips. Great. And this guy's ready to do it. Work, girl. All right, let's do this. 
See a little jaw sticking out? Mm, not bad. And then here's the guacamole. <laughs> he's showing us how he's dipping chips into guacamole. Nah, he's trolling, man. This is a troll. He's showing us how to dip chips into guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> this is a troll. I don't care. This is a troll. This is a troll. It has to be. It has to be. Can't be serious. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> I don't know how he's alive, man. Fair enough if he likes it. But. Oh. Yeah. Breakfast sandwich. Vietnamese style. It's called a banh mi in Vietnamese, banh mi. One of my favorite things to eat. And this particular way too. And I really truly believe soy sauce is such a critical, crucial ingredient that not everyone does, but I have to have it. I think it changes the flavor profiles or whatever. Yo, just make something that looks edible, brother. You're not good enough of a cook to talk about favorite profiles. You're not that good of a cook. Just make something that looks appetizing to eat. Flavor profiles. You can't even make a regular tuna mayo sandwich without doing some nonsense to it. Gutting the bread, doing like, what? Flavor profiles. To the point where it all matches and it's, so, it's like harmony in your mouth. See all that goodness? Thank you for pointing out the pork. Thank you. It's in there and it's delicious. And broiling the sandwich afterwards for, I think I said eight and a half minutes. Kind of timed it this time. We know. That's like the perfect. Keith Thompson. This was around the time his girl went to Nicaragua. Oh, really? Is it true? Okay, cool. This makes sense then. She went to Nicaragua to get a dig down by the niggas. Be like Keith Thompson. I actually need to watch it. I actually need to. I want to watch the one where. After they break up, I want to see if there's a difference. I want to see that one. After they break up, those vlogs, I want to see that one. He, he's got fucking mayo hanging from his fingers. Breadcrumbs everywhere. Like He's like a baby. Look at that. Just... I've timed him. Yeah, lick your fingers. Don't worry. Fucking hell, man. Because the top is really crispy. But not too crispy where, where it breaks apart. And the inside is still the fluffy baguette bread. Okay. It's cool. still there. Bread is bread. And it's, everything is warm, so it's, oh, it's amazing. He's got mayo, spam, guacamole, soy sauce. Yo, his pea stomach is fucking made out of fucking, I don't know, adamantium or something. No shits. All that stuff. Like, God oh my. I actually thought of putting guacamole in here, but. Of course. Of course he was thinking about adding guacamole in the band meat. Of course. He was going to add guacamole on top of the mayo, on top of the fucking... Vietnamese mayo on top of the fucking spam or whatever that shit it was in there and the soy sauce. <coughs> that might be too much. And I love it the way it is already. But let me see. It might be good, but I think guacamole has such a unique taste. Adding into here might be good. 
a little too much. But taking a bite of this first, and chewing it up and eating it, and then right after getting you know, a nice scoop of guacamole with tortilla chips, that's good stuff. Why not go for the back end? That's what he said. I know how I talked about sodium, salt, how it makes my face super puffy. Exhibit A, I ate like really salty pasta noodles last night. And then what is this story? What is this story? This guy needs friends, he needs a girlfriend, he needs hobby like this is such a sad vlog man you're just at home alone on the couch like, eating this shit fucking hell man and also how long does it take you to eat one half of a sandwich by the way is it me or is he taking ages to eat this like how long has it taken to eat this shit <laughs> how long does it take to eat a sandwich as soon as i wake up i'm always like oh my goodness who is this person it's almost to the point where i almost it messes up my vision because my eyes are just like like that and that's not racist because i'm asian haha -ha. mm. i just saw this sriracha it never ends he's gonna what next ketchup what next barbecue sauce? What next curry sauce? It never fucking ends. How much more sauce do you want on this shit? God almighty, bro. God almighty. Yeah, I need that. I, I need that. I need, I need that for a screen grab. I need that for a screen grab. I need that. I need that for a screen grab. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> I need that for a screen grab. Look at his face. Oh my god. Hold on. I need the the whole thing as well. <laughs> Hold on. We don't need this as well. Holy shit, man. This guy's redacted for sure. <laughs> Big up, uh, Jim. <sighs> That's actually good, but not necessary. But oh, really? You don't think so? After adding all those sauces on it, you don't think adding sriracha was not necessary? You just realise that now, right? Good to know, man. And all the stuff that fell down, the chicken pieces and the jar, all I'm going to do... Oh my God, he's explaining it. This guy is... Just put him on this tortilla chip. Go for a little dunk of guacamole. Oh. A dunk of sriracha and go to town. Of course, that's good. All right, last bite. When that liquid D hits and you got a clench to avoid burning your pants. I'm legitimate. I feel sick. I'm not going to lie. I generally feel sick. I generally feel like I'm going to throw up. I got that taste in my mouth. I swear to God, I generally feel sick. I'm not going to lie. I generally feel like I'm going to throw up. <sighs> I hope you learned something. <laughs> He's trolling us. He's trolling us. He's trolling us. I swear. <laughs> Chid is trolling us. He has to be. Look at that face. He knows what he did. He knows exactly what he did.
<laughs> he got us, didn't he? He got us. He got us. Look at that face. He knows what exactly what he did. <sighs> Give it a try. I know people will probably think, oh man, it's gross to have Miracle Whip, um, Vietnamese jazz. Oh, he knows. He knows. And there's not many, uh, you know, actually, there's not many gross ingredients there, but if it's something you've never tried before, you might be a little standoffish, but I'll just try it. If you don't like the first bite, then move on. But give it a try. We're not gonna, we're not gonna waste ingredients on that shit. We're not gonna do it because it looks horrible. Thank you to my girlfriend and her mom for providing me. They always give me lots of delicious Vietnamese food that I always enjoy. So thank you guys and uh, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. I felt it was necessary to do this video. So you can see my face right now. Svelte, aerodynamic, because last night I did have a little bit of soy sauce, but I didn't have any salty noodles, no ramen, nothing like that. So this is kind of like the less puffy version of me. Enjoy. I had to say that because last night I think I just had good old, good old fashioned American food. Is that your boy? Is that your boy? Is that your boy? Whose boy is this? Who's whose guy? Whose guy? Whose whose guy is that? Whose guy is that? Is that your boy? That's not my boy. Is this your boy? I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm done. Um. Wow. Wow. I thought you could never shock me, but he always shocks me. He always surprises me with his food. He always surprises me. Whenever I think I can't be shocked, he gets me. Cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm off. Six a.m. here. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm off. <laughs> I can't believe what I watched. I can't believe what I just watched. I can't believe it. Anyway, um. <laughs> I'm, jacked on I'm glad you brought some humor but I was literally on the verge of throwing up I saw my life I'm not even being dramatic I had that kind of like coppery taste in my mouth where I went to throw up literally I felt like I had pennies in my mouth like I legitimately felt like barfing like that shit looked like pure shit pure doo-doo caca like that looked like pure caca man caca like, oh my God. Anyway, I'm done.